guys, it's me Max Rainbow and I'm back for another video. So today I'm going to be reacting to semi-final one of Destination Eurovision 2019. I'm sorry it took me so long to react to these, it was just I was waiting for like the full song to be released and then before I knew it, semi-final one was just like right around the corner and I figured you guys would probably rather see my reaction to their performances on Destination Eurovision than just listening to the music anyway, so I figured I would just wait so that I could give a better reaction for you all. So there are nine competing entries, so I think I should just get right into reacting, don't you guys think? Alright, so I'm just going to go in the order that they performed on the night. So the first song that I'm going to be reacting to is Le Brasier by Naestro. On traverse la vie comme on marche dans la nuit. Oof, I just love the French language, right? Okay, so right now it's giving me, you know, just it's a piano ballad. He has a nice voice. It's a little. It's good. Okay. It's a pretty little ballad, but. Um. Right now, it's not giving me any, like, I always ask the question in my mind, what about this is standing out? What about this makes it different? And what about it would make somebody want to vote for it among other songs? I'm not hearing it, but who knows? Okay. We're breaking it down a little bit, taking it somewhere. I do actually really like his voice. It's a little bit different than a lot of other male vocals. The staging is lovely, I think, on the... I don't know, on the cube thing, the rectangular platform. And then the piano. Here's the thing, France is, like, known for sending quality stuff. They have an amazing music industry. They always send really quality music. But... Is this special? That's the question. Okay. I, I do, I really like this. I think that France can do better, but like say this was, if this was in Latvia's national selection, I'd be like, yes! But I hold France to a higher standard. It's like, France can do better, but it's good. Mm. <laughs> Yeah, I actually, I mean, I enjoyed that, but like I said, I hold France to a higher standard, and France can do better, and they have done better. France, you don't want to send something like that. <laughs> like, no. Alright, so the next song that I'm going to be reacting to is called In the Shadow by Florina. Ooh, I like this opening, the spotlight down on her, kind of like, choiry in the background. Ooh, smoke, I love the staging. Oh, she is like queen. She's just beautiful. Like, come on. I love the outfit. She's like strong. I'm standing here. Yes, I'm here. Oh, she has a beautiful voice. Okay. Okay. I love the staging. Okay, she's a little stiff in her stance. But it's good. It's a nice little nice little song. Is it competitive enough for Eurovision? Like, again, it's it's good. It's more of a genre that I would listen into. Like I can imagine me like definitely like putting this in a Spotify playlist and you know listening to it a lot, but in terms of a live performance, in terms of a competition setting. It's it's very much like other music that exists out there. But it's pretty, I love it. I mean, again, France sends quality. This isn't bad. Yeah, I think the chorus, like, leaves something to des be desired. I love the build-up of the verses and we go somewhere and then it's just like, in the shadow. What is in her hands? Oh, I love the confetti on her face. <laughs> Girl, if you don't get that off your face. Yeah, I mean, that was perfectly, perfectly good. It wasn't bad. I, th I mean, I think it was lovely. 
I think it was good. It just wasn't necessarily like, oh, like, take my breath away. Oh my god, like, wig snatched. It was not at, you know, it wasn't that. All right, so the next song is Le Hot by Chimene Badi. French is one of those languages, I do have a difficult time pronouncing it because it seems like the way that I think it should be pronounced is not the way it is. So, we shall see. Hmm. Ah, oh, I just love the French language. I love this kind of like universe thing happening. The staging is very nice. Like with all of them so far. I think that's very interesting. Oh! Oh, that's really cool! She has a really cool voice, too. Yeah, she has a really unique voice. It adds some just extra layers to the song. She could lose the cheap sequin jacket, but meh, whatever. Oh, okay! Oh, I actually... This is really good. You know, it's just like the combination of her unique voice and her way of pronouncing things and... And, I don't know, the song is just nice. I mean, I think it's a little bit... I'm waiting for it to really build and have that, like, peak, you know? It's very consistent, but it's like... Okay! We're going there! She's got some attitude in her performance and her voice. But see, I just need something extra in her voice, in the uh, beats in the background, because it just goes right back to how the chorus has been the whole time. You know what I mean? I need that last, just, impact. But I like it. I think this is very good. You know what I mean? Like, it just feels like, at this point, it, like, it felt like it should have ended one chorus ago. Alright, so the next song that I'm going to be reacting to is Pasio by Batista Aquaviva. Ooh. Oh! There's some drama? I love the stairs. Oh, I love what she's wearing. It's like very like better than what I have on, obviously, but... Ooh! Ooh. The mystery. Is this like opera? I love the staging. Oh, this is so different. You guys know I'm a big fan of opera. I don't know how to feel about her voice. It, it needs to be either deeper or higher. Her voice doesn't sound that strong. It almost sounds like there's audio problems. Like it sounds like it's like going in and out and in and out. I don't know if she just isn't... I just expect from an opera singer to really, like, deliver vocally, obviously. Am I crazy? She just sounds off. Ah, oh, that is such a shame, because this staging is fucking insane. That staging with the LED... Mm, there's something off, though. I want to hear Elena Nachaeva sing this. The voice sounds very not strong. Ah, uh. oh, that's such a shame because this really has everything. The freaking snow, the moon in the background. I mean, that staging is insanely awesome. All she needed to do was have a good voice, and it wasn't there. Mm, that's a shame. Yeah, it's a shame, because honestly, this is like kind of the type of music that I really love, like pop opera. That is my favorite, like one of my favorite genres. I just think it's so impressive with their vocals, and it's so different and unique. Um, it's such a shame that she had such a weak voice live, because I really did enjoy that, listening to it, like the studio version. All right, so the next song that I'm going to be reacting to is called La Petite Nicolas by Sylvain Areg. Oh, look at this. Oh my God, wait, that's so cute. That's staging. It kind of reminds me of, um, oh, what was his name last year? He had the puppets. 
I have no idea what's going on because I obviously don't speak French and there's a it's just like I don't know but it feels very French, which I appreciate. Honestly, to countries that complain about, you know, I guess being able to stage their entries whenever they're poorer countries, like they don't have the money or the funding behind it. I say, look at this. This is just some paper and markers and drawings. This is not expensive staging, but it's unique and different and it, it stands out. So, maybe take a hint. This is so cool. He is so handsome, and this feels so distinctly French, which I love. And he's just charismatic. He's a good performer. I love this. Is this like rap? Could you say this is rap? I feel like it's rap. I'm saying it's rap. This is not like anything I think I've ever heard before, honestly. This is so unique. <laughs> he's just, apart from being charismatic and all that, it's also a good song. Like, I can definitely hear myself listening to this. Oh, and now we're gonna... Oh, that... I love this. This is cool. It's very impressive once they pan out and you think about, like, the whole performance and how they... Those little tiny drawings were managed to be, like, what it was. I really like that. Oh my god, that was so impressive. Wow, that's the quality I expect from France. That was amazing. Alright, so the next song that I'm going to be reacting to is... Roy, Roy, by Bilal Hassani. All right, so this is the fan favorite. Listen, from one queen to another, I expect quality, you know, girl. I always want to support drag queens, of course, because I am one, obviously. However, I mean, duh, I never have biased opinions on anything. It's not going to change now. I will still be given my honest opinion. If this sucks, I don't care. I will call it out. Is she in the audience? Ooh, that outfit. You know, kind of gives uh, a look I did a couple, like, videos ago. I love the pants. I Honestly, it's like very gender bendy in terms of... Ah, uh, snatched, bitch! We both brought our blonde wigs. Oh! I think this is the first English I've heard, so I can actually understand what they're saying a little bit. I love the choreography with the dancers. Oh, I like the lyrics. It's very inspirational. Oh, yeah, bitch! See, this is the attitude, this is the performance that I expect from a queen! Yeah! <laughs> Oh! I see why she's a fan favorite. Their voice is amazing. I don't know. I don't know why. It's always a concern of mine with drag queens' voices because I swear none of us know how to sing. So. The staging is, like, beautiful. I love the integration of French and English. I think it works. I can def- oh, oh yes, the choreography! I just live for this! And you know what? This is classy still. You know, I think that people expect from drag queens to send something cheap or send something not to be taken seriously. This is classy quality. This is France. And this is something that I think that France could send and be proud of for sending. Like, it's not a joke entry, which I think a lot of people expect from drag queens. That was really good. I really do see why that was a fan favorite. I really enjoyed that. All right, so the next song that I'm going to be reacting to is Come Une Grande by Aisat. Oh, yes. Honestly, you guys know I'm always here for any time there is a person of color in Eurovision. I always stand a little extra harder because we love representation. And Eurovision tends to be very white, so... Ooh, I just love the, like... The sound in the background, the voices in the background, like, very... Choir. Oh! Yes! Wait, she's fabulous! Anytime there's choreography, I live. She looks so cool! I love her style. 
Uh oh. I think I want a little bit more with this chorus, but it's not like bad. I wouldn't complain. It's just a critique. Ah, I love the attitude. Just the personality. Like it's just it's those little, it's that little extra touch of something in terms of performance that makes it stand out. I mean, you can tell that she's an experienced performer. Ooh, Francis and this is just the first semifinal, girl. We got some winners already. Yes, it just builds all right. It's like leading up to just that fierce ending, like. Yes! All right, I mean, that was, that was so awesome. It's gonna be hard to pick a favorite. There are some in here that I really, really enjoy. All right, so the next song that I'm going to be reacting to is Je pas le temps by Lautner. Ooh, love the violin. I don't like the cheap kind of 80s background. I do really like the violin though. I'm a sucker for a violin. Oh, he's like beautiful, got a beautiful voice. I think, oh my god, this, the, the fuck is that called? <laughs> a skate, a skate, what the fuck is that called? This has a name. The skate park thingy in the background. I think that's a really unique staging. Oh, okay, this is a bop. I mean, you can never go wrong with two handsome guys and a bop. The staging is all over the place, though. I mean, they... They show... I don't know what's going on. I don't know if there's issues or if they just didn't think this out, but you can see people handing him stuff. Handing him the violin. They're not featuring the skate... The skate thingy very well. It's just in the background, but there's not, like, good camera angles that's, like, featuring it. I love the violin, though. I mean, I love the integration of a violin or any instruments like that into like a nice pop song. I like them together as like a duo too. They seem cool. Oh, I really enjoyed that. Again, this is one of those situations where it didn't like blow me away. Like I did really enjoy that. And I think like, like say I was listening to Latvia songs, girl, I would have been blown away. But it's France. Like I've already heard better songs in this semi-final, but that was definitely not bad at all. Like I definitely enjoyed that. I mean, so far, Literally all of the songs have been amazing. Literally say they sent any of these, I would be like, France is doing that this year. So that's, I mean, that's a good place to be in. They have a lot of good choices. All right, so the last song that I'm going to be reacting to is Ooh La La by Mazi. Oh, these instruments sound very like French. Oh. Oh, I love her look. Oh, she is so unique. <laughs> oh. This is, oh, the chorus could be better because I felt like that build up was like really epic. And she's got personality. Oh, she's just cool, huh? All right, you didn't, you didn't have to show up and do that to me, like. Ah! Wow, she makes me feel just like drab. You know what's really cool about her? is her movements seem very effortless. Like the choreography or like everything that she's doing, it's just like, ugh. Like it's just effortless. Like, oh, this is just what I do. This is just who I am. The second girl that we listened to, she seems so stiff, so choreographed, like it was very forced. This is just like fluid. I don't know. Oh! <gasps> Guys, I, I love this. Oh my God. This is so, ah. This is just so cool. This is so cool. Oh my God, this is amazing. Whoa, I'm shook. 
This is like a great example of wig snatched. I didn't expect that at all. That was just impressive. Like, it was unique. It was different. It was everything about it. I, wow. Oh my god. I, I, I'm shook. That was great. That was, that was awesome. I am thoroughly shook. All right, so I think that my favorites from this first semifinal were definitely Bilal. Oh my god. Everybody, right? Like, okay, my top, my top three. My top three are Bilal, Isat, and Mazzy. Those were my three favorite. I also really, really liked Sylvan Areg. I mean, those were my top four. I think those are my four favorites. All right, guys, that is it for my reaction of semifinal one of Destination Eurovision 2019. Don't forget to let me know what your opinions were on all of the songs in this semifinal. I will obviously be filming my reaction to semifinal two next week whenever it happens. I'm excited. I'm excited. I mean, this is, I just feel like the last couple of national selections that I've reacted to have been really, really bad. And it's really exciting to listen to a national selection where I think that every single song was good. From the one that came in last place, they were all good. So, um, that's really exciting. And yeah, I mean, Eurovision season is starting, guys! Eurovision season is starting. I'm so excited. Well, I'm, I'm gonna start having to be real busy. So, that'll be, you know stressful on my part, but oh well. I'm really excited to be making new content for you all. I hope you guys like the videos that I've been putting out, and I mean, don't forget that if you ever have suggestions or requests on what to react to, like, leave them in the comments down below. I want to make this channel as fun for you all to watch as it is for me to film these videos. So anyways, guys, I hope you liked this video. If you did, don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Don't forget to subscribe to my main channel so you don't miss out on any of the other videos that I do. And yeah, guys, my name is Max Rebo. I will see you all later. Goodbye. Mwah.